In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite passing play in the game. I'm going to show you a little twist to it that makes it super effective, specifically against 30-yard cloud flats when your opponent is double mabling. Also really good against man, zone, doesn't matter what defense they call. Somebody's going to be open on this concept, but really, really excited to break this down for you guys because it's really something that is a little bit advanced that I think you're going to really enjoy out of the PA counter go in the trips tied information. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. It's free to do that. Also, want to let you know that if you want to get my trips tied in ebook um, it's going to be available in the description you can get all of my ebooks uh, for the price of one of them by joining my patreon membership um, it's just ten dollars a month gets you access to everything over there and i am super pumped to share this concept so i did a video a couple of days ago that i talked about the importance of uh, route running and where we're at in ultimate team you can get pretty good route runners for cheap ideally you want to have 95 plus route running but in my opinion um you actually can get away with 90 plus route running which is what Devonte adams has deep route running that is uh, but i want to show something with this so i'm just going to sub in an average dude and as you can see i have 30 yard clouds okay now if i were to run this concept you'll notice this if you actually this is why i use the packers and regs because if you use the Bucks, they don't have anyone that has that deep route running threshold. So if you watch Valdez scaling his route, um, you're going to see here, this is the setup we're going to show you today. Um, and I'm going to talk about a really important tip as to why we want, especially if we think it's zone coverage, we want the five yard in versus the 10 yard in. I'm going to talk about that in just a second, but I want to just focus on the crosser. So if you look at him, he's going to go to about the 40. And again, if you look at that arrow, it's showing that he's going to run right at the 30 yard threshold. So if you watch this closely, you're going to see that a 30 yard cloud is going to carry him all the way across and basically guard him as you can see so that's not open so we can't throw that but what we can do is we can sub in Devonte Adams at that position and Devonte Adams has 90 plus deep route running which is the threshold that we're looking home for so as you'll see right here I'm gonna put Devonte Adams in and Valdez Scantling on the outside and what you're gonna notice is if I have a 30 yard cloud flat um, it's going to do something really interesting. So we're just going to watch the play and then I'm going to show it in replay and uh, kind of talk about it. So simple. We're going to flat the outside slot in route, the in outside receiver streak the tight end. Now this works best. And in my opinion, it really only works if you have your trips to the short side of the field, very similar to if you have your bunch to the short side this year. But anyway, what you're going to see is he will look like he's going to guard him and then you look at that you see how he kind of comes off of him that's primarily for two reasons the first one is because of the in route on the back side and, and that's why we if i put a smart routed in you'll notice so this is a smart routed in real quick you'll notice that even though the crosser does run deeper which it does it does run deeper down the field but if you if you watch with me you'll see that this smart routed in it won't get across the field fast enough to pull him down. I mean, it still kind of does, but you see there it's kind of late and it just allows the corner the ability to be able to hang on that route just long enough to where you get that glitchy sideline animation that is really not what we want, where you can't kind of get, it's really hard to get your feet down, okay? So now I wanna show you how it's supposed to look. So what you'll be able to do is you'll literally be able to kind of do this. If you practice this, you'll get the hang of it, but he's gonna look like he's gonna guard him. You're just gonna pass lead up right on that little turn of the turn of his feet and then you'll get this over the top. Let me show it to you again. That was a little bit of a bad example, but let me show it to you one more time. And we'll talk about the rest of the play here in just a second. But this smart routed in, now if you use a drag, a drag works even better, but the drag to me is not as good as the in. So um, it's for, for other reasons. But anyways, you're just gonna wait on it. He's gonna step inside right there. And Rogers is kind of selling me on these throws, but um, you, you'll see the angle. And we'll show it to you one more time. Now, this is helpful to uh, to roll out a little bit on this, especially, again, if they're double mabling, chances are they're only rushing two. Chances are. Um, but what you'll see on the left side here is our cloud flat or our curl flat glitch. So you see how the curl flat sucks inside to defend the in route. And then we can just throw our flat route. Now, if they don't have a curl flat, which is very common. So this is an adjustment a lot of people like to do right now. They're going to put this guy into a um, cloud. And then they're going to put that guy into man coverage. And the reason they're going to do that is because that's going to stop your flat route. 
what you got to do as a good quarterback is you've got to adjust and go to your second read. So again, you're looking flat to dig. So the first read is the tight end streak. No, flat, no, in route, yes. The in route is really honestly the most important route on this play because it pulls down zones and it also acts as a really good route on that left side and forces them to have to, they can't just sit over here. Um, and again, to stop the run out of trips, guess where you have to stand? Over here. So for them to go from here all the way over there, it's kind of a big deal. And it's really difficult to do in this year's game. So anyways, let me show you one more time this crosser. And then uh, we'll walk through a couple of other things with this play. So you have your streak. Now watch this. You're just looking, looking, looking. There, I threw it just a smidge too early. If you ever throw it early, um, I have Jimmy Smith and Mutt. And he has uh, Deep Out Elite. Just put a, put deep out elite on your player for this. I really think it's important this year to have deep out elite on the guy that you're going to be throwing the ball to. Uh, but anyways, th the point is, Jimmy Smith, if you ever get in trouble, just aggressive catch it. And oftentimes, it's very hard for them to pick it in this year's game. And I'm getting bum rushed by Kenny Clark. Are you kidding me? Let me show that again. But just get into practice mode on this. You'll, you'll learn the timing of it. Once you get the timing down, um, it's really, really good. And we're just not going to have any pass rush because it messes it up. So, obviously, in game, you know, you're going to have double teams and stuff. Right there. See, I comes inside and I throw right there. That's exactly what we're looking for. I got to do a better job of swerve catching it. But if you watch and replay, if you watch this guy in replay, you'll see that he backs up and he's playing the crosser really well. But this guy comes into his grid, and when he comes into his grid, watch that. See that little turn of the turn of his uh, his hips inside. That's when you can see, and it's because this route is stopping that it will do this. Now you can also do this with other routes, but I personally think it works best uh, with this route. I'll show you a drag really quickly, um, and then we'll uh, we'll probably be got one more key thing to show with this. But but anyways, I'll show you a drag real quick. So if you use a drag. You'll see this drag doesn't do terrible. He gets over there faster, but you you see, it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Now you got to get a little. I got to get a little better at catching that on the sideline more consistently. If you just simply swerve catch inside and outside, you don't even necessarily have to do that. But just I think it helps. Just do something like that. But notice that the drag because it gets across the field faster than the in route, it is helpful. And you still have the curl flat thing, but it's a lot quicker. And you see, the only thing is, you see how the drag doesn't always stop like the in route does? That's another thing you got to pay attention to. And if it doesn't stop, then the cloud can easily, like, it's pretty much going to, he's going to keep going outside. And that's the big issue is you want that cloud to suck inside. That's really where the big thing comes in now, um, or the big, the big glitch comes in here. So flat, yeah, I got that too, but wait for him to suck in, pass lead upside, and there you go. You see how I can secure catch that right there. So that's the concept that's the idea what they're gonna do once they see you starting to do that is they're going to do this they're going to take these off and this is where it becomes really really good there's a couple different setups we can do but when they take the zone drops off that typically means they're gonna go with a coverage that looks somewhat like this where they're gonna have this guy to a, a zone and then they might do something like this okay if they're in a coverage version of this defense this is what it's probably going to look like okay what we can do um and, and i'll show you why it's so good so it's so good because the quarter does a good job of playing this if you throw this right here you see they can click on and kind of pick it you can also aggressive catch it depending on how good of a user catcher you are um you know that's something to think about but the other thing that we can do that is really really advan advantageous for us is we can create a whole new ball game of a concept and that is this so we can do what i like to do is um essentially we're still going to um we're still going to in route uh or not in route i'm sorry we're still going to slant route about a scaling and then we're going to streak tunyon and then we're just going to motion this guy across and now what you're going to notice is it creates a two by two which the quarter doesn't match onto and now they're just going to play man coverage on him and as you can see, it gets open, it gets main coverage because he's got good route running and because the crosser is probably the best route Madden at getting over the top of this of this zone. So you mix these two setups in based on tendency. And then if you really want to not motion anybody, that's fine. I'll give you one more setup today. 
if you don't want to motion anybody and they're still doing this to you um, it's really simple so all we're going to do um, is we're just going to run the slant uh, route to Adams that's going to get underneath the quarter it's going to get wide open and then we have the dig to Robert Tunyon and then what I like to do is keep an in route to Valdez Scantling so what it does is it creates a high low on both sides of the field and you'll see this is just a little underneath concept that is really really good you see that that quarter will never guard the slant and it makes it super effective so those are some ways that you can deal with the most popular ways that people like to guard trips tied in it all revolves around understanding that in route and why that in route is so good if you smart route the in route just understand that it's not going to pull the third or it's not going to pull the the cloud as good as if it's an underneath in route however it will be better against man coverage so it's a tendency thing if they're running a lot of man smart route the in route if they're not running a lot of man don't smart route it um that simple thanks for watching if you want to learn the finer points of this offense join the patreon i'm getting ready to do a massive massive revamp of this offensive ebook this week i've um, been the project i've been working on for probably the better part of three years and i feel like i'm kind of there right now um to be able to discuss some of these plays so thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and again if you want to join our membership you get access to all our ebooks uh, it's only 10 bucks link is in the description below if you want to check it out there's also some videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet be sure to click them and some cool playlists as well